Hello everyone, I am back again to share with you all about how to get and fill out change of address form properly. This is an updates video. I made one before but I feel like I did not cover some important details so I decided to uh, make an updated video. I know more customers still having trouble about their mails not forwarded to the new address. By the way, this is a domestic only in United States. You can also fill out this form from any state where you are or any city where you live. Once I know where my new address, I will go ahead to fill out of change of address form which is this one this is the packet or you can rent the PO box at the post office as well so there's another option or you can wait until you will get there for your new address and fill out the form as soon as possible it takes less than a week in order to uh, to get into the system then start processing probably seven to ten days almost two weeks change of address form kit this is the one this is the form you are going to fill out start um, forwarding your your mail from your old address to your new address so I would highly recommend to do this process to fill out this form as soon as possible the sooner is better okay There are four different ways you can obtain the form. Number one, you can fill out through online. Number two, go to local post office near you. Um, number three, ask your regular or substitute a carrier to bring you an extra form. Your carrier should have change of address form kit with them for customer use number four you can print paper form and mail it with no cost or you can drop off one of the local post office so number one you can fill out through online but at online I believe there is a dollar fee a dollar fifty cents fee I had been noticing more customers complaints about filing filing out through online one their mail does not forwarded to the new address number two online has an issue sometimes they call it like glitch means like some kind of like um, computer issue so if you do it online make sure to uh, fill out this form this card as well to support your online form in, in case it doesn't went through the third when you paid online a dollar and fifty cents fee it's asking your credit card information or some kind of a pay payment information so some customer not not comfortable about giving their information for just a dollar fifty cents but it's it's an option there, there's gonna be a, a post office where you live okay what city what state you live the form it will be on the lobby area or counter if not ask post office clerk where to get one change of address form ask your regular or substitute carrier to bring you bring you one they always carry uh, extra for customer use number four you can print out the form online you go online and then drop up drop up one of the uh, post office near you or or drop up one of the blue boxes that that anywhere in in the area how many months a change of address order mostly post office will keep your records of permanent change of address order for a period of 18 months from the end of the month when the change takes effect there's gonna be range there for 12, 12 to 18 months if you move so that's gonna be a different story we keep the records when fill, 
filing this out the form you must pay attention to provide your information on the form because every mistake will cause more problem than you thought you wonder why your mail does not forward it to your new address guess what it returns to the sender or your mails it doesn't fix right away so you're not gonna be happy so be careful on this little little question here okay it's it's straightforward just all uh, your basic information how to fill out correctly each little box has to put check mark which one of which is the correct information you provided when checking mark of individual so this is the challenging one here individual entire family and businesses individual one person one one last name it, anyway change of address it goes by last name so see it say here individual individual choose this option if one person is moving if you receive mail by more than one one name maiden name or nickname complete a separate form for each name so if you have a different name you have to fill out another one okay like i said it goes it, it's it goes by last name it's not your first name so now the entire family so in third family is the second one choose this option and complete one form if everyone in your family has the same last name if not all family members are moving or if some family members have different last name choose the individual option and submit a separate order for each mover if you have a different last name at your household you have to fill out multiple of this form if you are new to the address new mover please put your last name on outside of your mailbox big bold last name so that the new carrier or substitute substitute carrier will deliver your mail your regular mail carrier would know who lives on the house but substitute a new still learning the routes like they still are uh, learning to every day new new street new because uh, some of them like from different offices uh, sometimes your your regular carrier go uh, vacation but they call in for sick of course they need to uh, bring their their substitute uh, carrier to uh, to carry that route for the for this for that day to cover that route for that day once your change of address went through well because from uh, your old address it's here and it's covered a yellow sticker that means for your new address so means it start catching up that's a good thing um, any issues for the males for example you are in the middle of of moving or closing the house or anything that can affect your mail I highly recommend to go to local post office to ask somebody to help you how to forward your mail to the new address without any confusion you just um, ask them for uh, to help you out to uh, to make it clear that everything went well or another big issue if someone is moving out from moving out to your to your home like you have a college college kids or job rela relocation and you have to remind them him or her he or she needs to fill out individual only not the entire family if only one person moving out from that address don't hesitate to ask a postal clerk or any postal employee for your concern okay so another thing to point it out um to make sh make sure which one of which it is this move temporary or not like it say here check yes if you plan see is this a temporary move 
check yes if you plan to return to your old address within 12 months. Initially forward forwarding periods are restricting to 6 months but can be extended up to 1 year. The minimum length the minimum length is 15 days otherwise check no if you are staying forever to the new address so be careful what you're checking here too okay if temporary or not now you submitted it a change of address form at post office it is time to inform the service company such as as your finance financial services the bank credit card loans or online services the retail website like amazon and also the pay paypal netflix your streaming services and then it's right here to to the packet the packet of this uh, change of address form kit and then in your insurance company health dental or life insurance and car insurance homeowner or renter insurance uh, utility utility bills that's very important to get gas electricity water or internet internet and cable and phone and also health your doctors uh, you have to update them to give them your new address uh, to uh, inform them your animal care your veteran veterinarian another very important thing too the government agency the dmb irs and social security you gotta let this people know okay so that you will receive all your important documents so to uh, let them know for your new address so that they will update it for you for overview um Change of address form is the first form to obtain when you're moving to a different place to your new address. There are four different ways to, to obtain. Number one is fill out online. Number two, go to local post office near you. And then number three, ask your regular carrier before you leave. And number four, print out the form from online and mail it or drop it off. I hope this video is very helpful to you for future reference. Please comment below and let me know how I'm doing or what type of video you, do you want me to share. Please share and like and subscribe. Thank you for all your time to uh, check out my video.